It's on the it's on the deal, Don. It's on it, waiting for you to use it. Okay, let's put this in my pocket, my tool thing. This must be the one I size I need, because it's the one I couldn't find. Yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I can at least get them started with that. It's so powerful. I'm I don't want to. I'm kind of worried about breaking that little holder. Okay. So, all the parts, a little grease. Okay, let's get around the corner here. Okay. Uh, hey, it'll stand up. I hadn't, I didn't know if it would. And that'll drop. Screws. Have to bend over so far. I'm afraid I'm on. It might be better to have have something fall out of my pocket than have it. I don't want to set on that tube of grease. That's, I was going to put it in my back pocket. That's what I usually do, but I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, so this. This that hurt. Okay, so this goes in front and it does not go the way you would think. And then I think you can go ahead and put your screws through there. The ball bearing doesn't go through the inside like I thought. I I did that before I think and couldn't get the drum in there and had to take it all back apart. So some of this stuff like this it pays to read the instructions. Now actually I may want to yeah, let's just try this one. I think it might. Yeah, that other thing goes on the outside. Then I put in my pocket. This one will go on the out back side of it. Uh, but the, the, I think I can. Well, let's see if I can just stick these through, or if I'm going to have to turn them through. I think I will want the hand. It's going to be a little unwieldy, I think, for me to hold that up, leaning over and. Line it up and hit it. I think the fine tuning of the hand will be better at this point. Okay. Yeah, you slide that in the slot. Oh, yeah, they just go in there. They don't. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, I think it's better. I'm going to need to do this by hand because I think I'm going to. What have I got in there? Needle nose pliers. These pocket these these tool pockets are not very very long. Very wide wide. They don't hold a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh the the bracket. Oh yeah, the uh ball bearing. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it like that. I think I'll go around. I'm going to have to go around to this side now. Yeah, I think if I move this socket set, I can set on my chair and reach it. I hope. I got to get the grease. What I'm going to have to do is put some grease, like I was saying, on that on the spot where this ball bearing lands on that cup. And uh, put that over there, reach it if I end up needing that. And uh, I think, and then it'll stay while I'm getting this little screw holder bracket on there. Now I don't have a place to pour these out. There, I'll get them in my hand. Okay, now. There we go. Screws. Now, a little bit of this grease. I'm, I'm going to put it in my shirt pocket. Don't bend over until you... Okay, now this thing got a poker in it. That's good. Now, actually, I think what I need to do is... It, ju it just sits through there. It doesn't... Yeah. Put a little grease on there. 
Put a little grease on there. Well, that stuff is tough. There we go. And I won't walk, you know, I'm not going to try to put it in there for the greasing until of the deal until I, uh, after I get this installed. Okay. So this is, I can't believe that this is actually kind of tricky. It's definitely a fumbly, fiddly thing to put together. Found the cup, ca cap to the grease, but I can't deal with it. And I dropped it. Dang it! Where'd you go? There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. It landed, I hit the ground, I heard it, but it bounced up and landed on the carpet and stopped rolling. Okay, so this should stay if I'm careful enough. Uh, and then I'll put my little thing on there. I'm not... Only thing is, now in order to turn the screws, I think I'm going to have to be back around on the other side. That's in the center. It looks like I can reach it. Well, I can reach it because I can... Yeah, i got to go back around the other way so that I can turn these once, once I get it in there. I want to put it on kind of simultaneously, uh, this, this on the back and this on the front so I don't lose that ball bearing. That's the grounding ball bearing. Kind of an interesting design. And I'm almost certain, well, I am certain that the, the kind of bent over sharp tabs, they go towards the dryer. Okay, yeah, I'm going to put this, yeah, here we go, put that over it. Oh, that's not going to work. Put these through first and then I can see where to line it up. If I can get them through. I get one, you got to hold them both at the same time, and that's pretty tricky. Let's try that. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now this. Oh. Okay, I started one with my finger. Oh, yeah, they, they screw right through there real good. Where's my tool? First one I could start with my finger. The second one I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. And you, yeah, you don't want to use a driver because it's thin metal. You don't even want to crank down on it real hard. I mean, you want it tight enough to stay. It's slippery in my hands. Actually, my hands started hurting. There we go. Don't overdo it though, because you'll just strip that thing out. Those things are, yeah, and now the ball bearing is just pressed. That little tab that was on it, it pressed it way out, opened it up, it, it pressed right on it. That was, third, third time I've done that, well probably more than that, like in and out, but the third one of those I've put on, finally beginning to get, understand, get how to, how to do it. It's really, a trick to kind of figure out how to how to uh, get all that together at the same time. Okay, now those extra screws, I'm not quite sure where they go yet, but we'll find out. They don't go on that. They could just be for the back cover or something. They, well, there's three of them. I guess that's what holds the trailer hitch ball on. Yeah, that's what they are course okay so uh that's the next thing well i could do the uh i'll go ahead and do that now and then or should i wait i can put the uh heating coil in see what i've got to think and let me think this through i should be able to put the heating coil in yeah, I can do the trailer hitch ball right, you know, right before, when I get ready to actually shove the drum in there. Uh, I can, I can put the co heating coil in, wire it up. Oh yeah, I've got to redo those wires. Uh, they're, uh, they've been pretty, pretty well heated. Oh, I haven't put the, uh, the, uh, 
I think it's the overheat thermostat. This one here, I believe, is the... Uh, It doesn't stick through. It looks like it would stick through the back of the dryer, but it doesn't. It's just mounted right up to it, but it is kind of... I think there's a little hole for it to go into. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't stick through. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's just really not a hole. Anyway. Uh, I believe the one... Yeah, the one that uh, goes in the heating backing plate I believe is the uh, high limit thermostat and I have already tested them all and these they're supposed to have continuity when they're cold and they do down there the only other thing about that one down there I never did show it up close I don't think uh, it's I don't know if I want to do it right now or wait I think I can. I think I'll do it while I'm thinking about it because every time I put it off, I end up not doing it. So let's see if we can show it. Um, my cables for everything are getting kind of twisted around to everything. I don't know if I can. I don't know how it got like that. I mean. Oh. think of the easiest way to well no sorry but this I, I gotta do this my cables are the one that's getting twisted around it is the one that's shortest and I'm, I'm running out of cable okay so uh, I'm gonna let the camera be upside down and see if we can see if we can see this oh I've never really got a good look at it eat myself. Where are you? You don't want to be any closer than that. There it is. It's got... It uh, looks like it's got two wires and a jumper. I was thinking there was three. Let me get that light and see if I can... I can see it even better even if it messes up the camera view. There we go. Later I can see it right now. I'm going to get down there and look at it without the camera. Because I want to know about that. Because I may have that part. I'm, if I don't, if the one I have may be the right one or it could be the wrong one. <coughs> and I want to, I want to kind of try to figure out that if I, just, you know, if I think I need it. I could just go ahead and put it in there if it's the right one. <coughs> just to be safe. <coughs> because you have to take the drum out to change that one. Other ones I can change later if I needed to. But down there... Way down there... It's getting... I don't even know if I'm down... Yeah, there we go. I see now. Small preview. so hard to see what's going on there. Okay, so I'm going to get down there with the light and the magnifying glass and see. I guess I need to be on this side. Magnifying glass is not going to help. One, two, three... And this one has a jumper. That doesn't look anything like the part I've got. And when I tested on it, depending on which way you were going, the uh, I think I should change that. Before I put the drum in, I should change that idler pulley from up here like this. I think it would be easier. Then having to get down in the floor and reach through that little bitty door hole in the back. But, uh, okay, so I'm going to leave it in there because what I have ain't going to replace it. And it doesn't actually, I think it's for a different, newer, probably a newer dryer. I must have got the wrong one or something. I was thinking that maybe it was the right one, but 
you know, it's the new updated version. They quit making that version. It's not either one of these. It's that one. But it's not like the one that's in there. But anyway, when I tested on it, if I, I, there was, I think there was three spots where it would get continuity, three combinations, and the other combination it didn't get continuity. So I figure it's working, you know. Uh, but, uh, and all the tests, all the tests and pictures I saw, it was like the one more, or like the one I got, or sim much more like it, you know. And I think I'm going to put my grease in there right now before I end up forgetting to put it in there. I kind of like to wait just to keep from getting dirt in it or something, but end up forgetting would be the ba really bad. So, my camera. I've got my le tripod legs. I figured out that I can make my tripod legs spread out a lot more. I'd forgotten about that, about this thing. I can make them spread out a lot more by, uh, I'm not really in the right place where you can see anymore. How did I get to do that? Oh, I see. I see what I did now. I see what I did there. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put my grease in here. We want to put plenty of that in there. No, we're not trying to save this stuff. Of course, there's no sense in wasting it, but... Uh, but you can't get to it to grease it up again later. Uh, but I, I used about most of the, not about, not not a little more than half of the tube. Not probably not most of it. But uh, that's all it needed. Most of that's going to come be squeezed. A lot of that's going to be squeezed out. But that'll be there and ready. I won't, I, won't, I can't forget to do it now. It's there. Okay, and. Uh, Yeah, that, I definitely realized that after making that little makeshift one bushing for that, that high temperature grease is de de definitely needed in the back of a dryer with heating elements like that. Uh, the regular grease just gets hot and runs, we well, can see where it ran down the thing, it just gets hot and runs off. Plus I didn't have a cup situation, you know, to hold it either. So, uh, i got to get a drink of water. Or coffee. I'll get a little drink of coffee and then a little drink of water. Make make both of my cups happy. Or both of my wants happy. Okay, now. Okay, <clears throat> I was checking my camera. It's recording. It does pretty good about just staying on and recording, but the audio is the thing that I have trouble with. <clears throat> the uh, the mic camera, Car the mic on that camera is so horrible. I don't know if it's the mic is all that bad. It uh, it's really obvious that it's the software on the camera that's jacking it up. Like the compression and noise gate. It's probably got some of both in it. But it sounds more like a squelch on a CB radio is what it sounds like. Old 70s, 80s CB radio squelch. And when I put a lapel mic in it, at first I, I, I put a lapel mic in it and hung it on the camera. And it was a little better. But then I said, well, let me try wearing the lapel because that's how it's made, designed to be used. And it's okay that way. But I did that the last time I worked on it and I... Had all kinds of trouble with the sound cutting in and out with the cables. I said that earlier. Pulled the camera over once because I forgot and went too far. So, uh, I want to do that again. So, um, let me get the, uh, get this. There, I'll show the heating element one more time. It goes in there in this orientation. And, uh, oh yeah, I haven't put this other, the high temp thing on it yet. yet. Back to work, back to workbench mode. Is that in the picture?
projector. Not quite. There we go. I'll get that thing out of my box of parts. Oh, I've got to find the right screw, too. Let's see. Let me see. Well, it looks better straight. So. Yeah. Okay, so I can stand on this side. <clears throat> i got to find the screws that are the right, exact right ones. I think there's some that are interchangeable, but some that are just the right ones. That goes in the front. That goes in the front. Okay. And uh, if I had a nice bench to lay all this out on, I would and just leave them all laid out, but I don't. A lot of times I like to stand them up and that gets you to where you can see which ones are what lengths and and you can tell the diameter is pretty good that way too right quick. Okay, there's three of those bigger ones. I'm gonna figure these two because they match each other. These all match each other. I'm gonna figure that's what the deal is. Yeah, I believe, well, they don't go right in there. Let's see. Yeah, these don't have a slot in them. These all do. I better stand them up and see. Yeah, but see, since this, this, my workbench is, is a flip up, and it's what I'm working on, so I kind of keep on. Yeah, these are all the same kind. These might be the ones that belong in there. I mean, they want you don't want them to be real loose, but... Yeah, that's it. They are, they go in easy, but, but they're going to tighten down on that, I think. That one doesn't go in quite so, yeah. I mean, it could be, I'm still kind of wondering if those are really the ones that go. I don't, ah, I don't think those have ever been in there, but you want it to stay tight, that's for sure. Let me get whatever it is I'd need to drive them. Okay, let me see. Where else do we have screws? These two might be the front door screws. Let me go look at the door. I'm starting to think that... See, I could make these fit. But they don't feel like they've ever been in there. So I don't think that's where they go. Yeah, these two that match, that makes sense now because there's two of those door screws. Yeah. These are just a tiny bit bigger. And... Uh, is that another one of those? I think I might have another couple more of those. Some of them are a little longer, that's it. Okay. These are all too big. Okay, stand them back up. <clears throat> I usually am really meticulous about making sure I know where things go back. Those don't have... Those are all... Well, those are... That one's a shorter one. There's three of those. I'm really usually pretty meticulous about making sure I know where things go, but I didn't this time. And I ended up taking out more screws than I expected. Now those two there, I think, are the door screws, like I said. These are all same thing so they can go wherever so the other ones are too big too long I think just like yeah these are 